Continuing our path down the Prussian mission tree, we must annex on halt here for the Westphalian conquest. And then uh, we're going to have to take one more province somewhere over here. I was thinking that uh, I had miscalculated, but the North Rhine area, which is, I believe, over here. Yep. And uh, then we're going to start migrating over this way. So well, there is quite a bit of conquest that needs to be done here. And uh, hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. Welcome back to uh, Prussia here in uh, 1356, guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign. Interest has fallen off quite a bit as far as uh, viewership. So... If you guys don't mind taking a second and leaving a like on the video, I really do appreciate that. It helps other people find the content if you are enjoying it and you want to share it with them as well. If you know somebody who might appreciate a little bit of funsies like this, go ahead and sh send it their way. So, uh, yeah, that's quite a bit of money. We are quite overextended because we just annexed all of these guys. Yeah. It's going to take some time to get this sorted out. Now, is there a CCR guy? There is a CCR guy. Okay. I will happily pay for that. That will actually save us quite a bit on these... Cores over here. What am I doing? Those aren't cores. <laughs> right. Sort by overextension. Get the overextension sorted. Since it is accepted, since we're an empire. Or uh Empire, right? We are an empire. Yeah, well, since we're an empire, they're all accepted cultures. Which makes them core 25% faster, if I recall. So as soon as we finish up these two cores, we'll be uh we'll be in a much better spot. But yeah, now we're just waiting to get this stuff cored up. We don't have any war exhaustion or anything like that, so no worries. Um, yeah, we're going to need to see these guys are, ooh, okay. That's an easy annex and we could probably co belligerent these guys. So let's get some claims on them. Sadly, I don't think we can get a claim on Friesland proper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 32 development. What is up with North Germany becoming like the most developed area in the world? Or at least it feels like it, doesn't it? But, um, we'll see how, uh. If we can skirt by without too many overextension events. Oh my gosh, we're losing so much money because this overextension, or this uh, rooting out of corruption. Army maintenance is crazy high right now. Yeah. Hmm. Let's turn our army maintenance down and not be drilling our armies for now. Save a little bit of cash. That's crazy. We just spent like a thousand ducats right then and there. And as soon as we uh, turn our army maintenance down, we get some rebels popping up. You love to see it happen, folks. There you go. Yeah, there's one overextension event. No big deal. And we'll turn our army maintenance back down a bit. Um, now, everybody in this war is going to get pieced out separately for all their money. So we're not like, you know, obviously we're not in a bad position. Skona. Transfer all your trade power, all your money. Thank you, sirs. Um, now, I'll be able to annex these guys, probably. They're not going to be able to siege anything down. Also, shout out the uh, the second fleet, the Kriegsmarine over here. Um, blockading the crap out of <laughs> the coast of Holland for, like, decades. Let's make sure we're coring everything up. We're no longer overextended. We only had one overextension event. That is not bad, literally, at all. I will totally take that. All right, so we will want to separate piece these guys out eventually. Lose a little bit of legitimacy. They ain't never killed nobody. And my subjects should kill those rebels. It'd be cooler if they did. We'll see. There we go. Just like that. Now, I am going to need to attack these guys. Son of a gun. So many rebels popping up here. All right. I guess we can turn our army maintenance back on and handle these rebels here. There you go. My other ones are handled. And it looks like we are in a position where we can take some uh, tech here. Mm-hmm. Let me see here. Is it by next year? No. Hmm. I bet it's cheap. Yeah, it's only... Yeah, that's definitely reasonable. Totally fine with me, actually. Convert, convert, convert. Everything is getting cored up. Everything is getting converted. Oh, no. That's a process. Oh, right. Okay. So as soon as we're done with these cores, we can uh, convert this Hanover, which is a center of reformation, which is great. Any of these centers of reformation we can crush out. We want to do that. Uh, let's go with da -da -da -da, goods produced, I suppose. Get you up to level three. We're done with our trade ideas. We're going to be able to stay ahead of time on tech, which is great. Admin tech is getting a little close, but uh, 
Let's see here. Do we want average monarch lifespan? Oh my gosh, he's already old. I suppose so. Give him an extra couple of years if we can. Why not? Upgrade our cannons? Why not? Now, let's see here. We do have the soldiers' workhouses available to us. Mm hmm. There's some development over here. I suppose we can probably get a state house built here. Yeah, it's all grain and stuff, so it's not super useful for us. Any other state houses? Yep, let's build one on um, one in this state over here. Get rid of the church in this province and build it here. It's statewide, so it doesn't really matter. And um, then this state here, definitely want to build one here. So let's get one built there as well. Absolutely. Cool. That will help out with our governing capacity, which is obviously not an issue, but it will. It will continue to get worse and worse. That's that's just something you have to anticipate. Uh, very good. And just like that, we're like very much in a good spot. <laughs> Love it. Now, can we full state this? I want to full state this. That way I can help out the missionaries here. Very good. Take pride, of course. AE ain't nothing but a number. These guys are acting like I'm some monster. I'm I'm indeed a pacifist, you know? We're going to need to full core this as well. Um, we're doing okay. Goslar... On halt is going to need a little bit of uh, devastation reduction. That's fine. There is no... Oh, there is a fort here touching it. So it is going down. Side with the burgers, sure. Let's make sure we're maintaining our... Uh, or we're getting as much crown land as possible here. Convert Friesland, huh? I think I can just attack them. Oh, that's super easy. And we can co-belligerent uh, Lipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll do that because we need to annex Lipe. So, uh... We no longer hate war. We actually love war. We're going to attack these guys. Co-belligerent Lipe. And uh, just kidding. We actually hate war again. Don't you love that? I think that's like... Somebody pointed that out in the comments. And it's like... I'm like, that is actually like top 10 funniest things <laughs> I have seen in my comments in a while. So I appreciate the sentiment. Um, okay. I bet Denmark's got some heavies. They do. It's not actually that bad. So I suppose we can just come on over here and blockade them. Probably should get a, a naval leader over there. We got the Friedrich over here, so we're good. I also spelled it wrong, but now I'm keeping it because I like it. We're going to keep it because I like it. So I'm going to have separate piece. Well, no, actually, I can just probably do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is fine. It's only six. Oof, not bad. Must be some pretty low development over here. Economic provincial. Ooh, really? Is that an economic idea? Let's see here. Yep, there you go. Encourage development. Ooh, interesting. Very good. See, I appreciate the idea of idea groups kind of bolstering things. I definitely really appreciate that, actually. We have to core up on halt. We're, man, we're going to be at a deficit of admin for a minute. Let's go ahead and switch our focus over to admin. Our air is not very good with it either, so no big deal. We've won the siege of the, Fry the, siege of the land of fries. Friesland. Let's get you guys down here. We might as well come down here and uh, bop this army. No big deal. There you go. Easy peasy. That is a st -st -st stack wipe. Core up on halt. We don't have any war exhaustion, so it's not an issue. And uh, now we're just waiting. Pomeranian Hussite siege ability. Sure. I love siege ability. And if he's half off, why not? Pomeranian Hussite. The true faith. <laughs> oh, it's too good. All right. So Denmark will get separate piece for trade power and all their money. Nassau will be forced religion. Just kidding. Trade power, all their money. And as much as they're going to give us, at least. Hesse, you guessed it. Forced religion, trade power, all their money. Or, uh, I guess no trade power, but that's fine. But at the same time, this is going to continue to push our faith. Hussite will certainly become the dominant faith. Uh, Galray, I don't really care. So, yeah, this is fine with me. More reps and as much money as you're willing to give. Easy peasy. 
that should give us this one, which will allow us to yoink crown land without any penalty. I want to get up to 60 sooner or later. That should get us this mission here. Seven, eight. Really? It didn't count it? Hmm. Maybe I don't hate war so much now that I'm thinking about it. Let's, um, let's continue our conquest over here and then go back to hating war. It's interesting. I didn't realize I, uh, I was thinking, I mean, either way, it, it doesn't matter. This will, this will 100% fulfill the requirements for that. So let's have you guys come down here. Who else is in this war? Just these lads here. So here we go. I get everybody siege down. No big deal. And uh, we'll take Diplotech whenever we want to save the mana for development if we can. So I gotten some comments saying delete your forms in up here. <laughs> Who cares, man? Do I look like I need to delete the forts? Do I honestly? I kind of like it actually having all these forts. So there is a lot of them. <laughs> they are costing us quite a bit of money. Let's get rid of you. And then this one here is probably not necessary. There we go. That should be good. Yep, absolutely. These ones protect over here. So this Onsapruk is uh, in trouble, but it is what it is. Also, uh, boys, I noticed something the other day, and I wanted some feedback on it. What do you think when you see the province of Paderborn? Does it give you any, like, sort of thoughts or anything like that? I'm curious. Does it remind you of any sort of shapes or anything like that that you maybe are familiar with? I, I don't know. I'm just curious. Just uh, leave your comment down below. Let me know. All right. These guys, again, you guessed it. Just keep <laughs> war profiteering, right? Like I said, I'm like an American politician during a war. I'm making money, baby. We're making money. I want the gold. Where the gold at? Let's get you guys siege down in your entirety. My subject will handle the wars or the sieges. I mean, Utrecht will get pieced out here. They're already our brothers in the faith. So you love to see that Geneva will indeed get force converted. No reason not to. Let's uh, send my boyos down there and see if we can siege them down. Yep, should be pretty quick. And then again, ooh, free mana. I like free mana. We need admin mana. Lord knows. You guys, again, all your money and all your trade power. Plus, it keeps them from being able to join our uh, uh, coalition, is what I'm trying to say. Uh-huh. Let's have you guys split. And then we do need to get into war with these guys sooner or later. Now, truce with these guys is expired. So let's go ahead and attack them. And we will full annex them. Now, these guys probably got Black Flag. No, they did not. Very good. These guys are, though. That's fine. Let's uh, get an extra general. Have you come down here. Siege down Dresden. We'll fully annex them. That's fine. They went down there and they paid to barrage the walls. It's hilarious. But, uh, yep, yeah, you can see our siege ability is quite strong. We will separate piece these lads down here. No, no center of reformation, sadly. Free admin mana. Yes, please. We definitely need it. We're not we're not uh, taking a ton of clay right now, so we'll be able to take this uh, take this tech here right on time. No big deal, no penalty, nice and cheap. It'll be under three hundred, under half cost. Tell me the innovativeness is not a strong idea group, and I'll let you know that you are an absolute dingus and you know nothing about this game. Let's take that there, a little bit of AE. Now we can click this button, get our claims on the North Rhine, which is over here. We'll be able to take that eventually. We will full state you and we will put you guys on missionary strength. That will help us convert Hanover, which is indeed a center of reformation. Uh, I'm not going to full core it just yet. Obviously, I want to take tech first. So prioritize staying ahead of time on tech. It's important for me. Uh, oh, right. I forgot to separate piece those guys. Oh, well, no big deal. Uh, now, Lonshut is too big to be converted. Yeah, they are. That's okay. Doesn't bother me. Let's get you guys over here, actually. Win these sieges over here and uh, get these guys full occupied. Easy peasy, right? Now uh, it's just a matter of continuing the conquest. Our vassal swarm is just so impactful, man. Having a strong vassal swarm like we do, it just adds so much to our to our campaign. 
Like we cannot be, we cannot go wrong here, you know. Let's have Lonshut pieced out separately. Trade all your money. Thank you, sir. We are so rich, actually. I kind of can't believe how rich we are. Um, now let's get all our armies grouped up so we can actually like make them a suitable size here. We've got like 150 some thousand men. This is just to assert our dominance and get you guys split, 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 something like that. That is fine. Very good. Uh, let's get you guys over here since there's some force limit over there. Take our techs. And uh, since we got the mill, that means we can now build manufactories on our glass provinces, which we want to do our, our gloss provinces, as you uh, strange folks across the pond would say. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and uh, increase that. That will allow us to build a second one here, which we want to build the mill. Now, let's see here. Konigsberg needs a mill as well. So we're going to have to do that. Build a mill. Um, now, that does hurt our governing capacity quite a bit. Yeah, it does. Goodness gracious. That's okay. Need to core up Munster 184. What is the development in these provinces, bro? This is nuts. That is actually insane. I'm not going to be able to piece these guys out for a minute. Gosh, dang, bro. All right. Let's get a general on you. Drill. 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 Drill my armies. There's no reason not to. We don't need the professionalism, but it does make them stronger whenever we end up going to war. Just kidding. Apparently, we don't need to be drilling them. So let's save the money instead then, which we are making a lot of. All the war reps we have. That's like the meta, man. Look how much money we're making. <laughs> oh, no, that's crazy. That's actually insane. All right. So we do have call for pizza. Damn, man. At least we're ahead of time on tech, so that's not an issue. Uh, Generally, you want to do anything that's going to increase relations. So that will help us out with preventing a coalition. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Our, the, the emperor is dead. Long live the emperor. Let's see here. Let's go back to the CCR guy then. That will save us quite a bit of mana. So we'll go with that. Now I'm just waiting. I'm going to let these war exhaustion go up a little bit. It's not a big deal. Prussian monarchy and defender of the faith has given us a nice little discount on that. So as soon as we peace out, we'll be good. Now, how much is this going to cost for a full annex? Oh my gosh, it's so bad for the AE. 300 admin. Damn. Yeah, plus we need to state up all these partial states. But we did get rid of a center of reformation. There's only two left down here. So it looks like all of it is con uh, concentrated over here in like the Alsace region. So France is uh, still happy to be my ally. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll get a little bit of base tax. Why not, you know? I bet we can uh, do a little bit of exploitation. So let's do that. There we go. No big deal, right? Easy peasy. But yeah, the admin woes are not going to be ending anytime soon, sadly. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it as it comes along. Do they have any armies left? They have no armies left, so we can also turn our forts off. And we're even with our forts off, we're still maxed out at army tradition. Obviously, we need to get out of this war sooner rather than later. Also, lads, if you haven't already, join the Discord, and I'm giving some updates on uh, the next patch for Land of the Free. I, um... I'm having fun with it. Land of the free, the USA overhaul mod. All right, let's go ahead and annex these guys. We're probably going to have a coalition. I do not have enough war score to demand this. Oh, what the heck? Oh, shift click doesn't seem to work anymore. All right, that's fine. I will... Oh, I can't yoink the dev. Dang it. Okay, this is fine. Um, Sort by extension. We'll just core it up as we can. No big deal. This Westphalian province over here in Munster will go down. No big deal. But yeah, Land of the Free is getting an update sometime in the next month or so. So uh, if you guys want to join the Discord, there's inter um, updates going on for that. So obviously the war exhaustion going down makes it a little bit cheaper. It's it's negligible. It's it's pretty negligible. People like comment. And they're like, why don't you wait for your war exhaustion to go down? Dude, who cares? <laughs> what do you value more? 20 some man, like 15 mana or 20% overextension, which is giving you massive penalties, right? Like. It's the one track mind. You you gotta think what's the macro play. It's not all about microwing every little thing. Microwing is boring. If you came to watch microwing, you're watching the wrong guy. We're here we're here to have fun. That's what we do. We have fun here, boys. And that's why we play EU4, because it's so fun, right? <laughs> right? It's so much fun. <laughs> oh, my life is pain. Spain without the S, as they say. Couldn't be prouder. Free mana. Oh man. 
max that on mill. That's pretty great. So let's find a nice state here to develop. Uh huh. We could develop kind of what about like over here. This is a good state. So let's go ahead and go with local dev cost. And we will do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. There you go. Super expensive. Don't care. There you go. Just like that. Look at all this development. Nice. -oo. Why is that so much? That's crazy. But it's all good. Since we have our state houses, it does quite help quite help quite a bit. And uh, once this one is built, oh, we got it built over here. Very good. Yep. All right. We're going to have to build it over here because look at this freaking state. That is crazy, bro. That is actually insane how much we have over here. All right. That is nuts. All right. Um, nice. This is a good province. Uh huh. I'm going to need to get rid of probably like the regimental camp there. Right. Uh, get rid of the trade. The, there you go. And we'll probably build it there. As soon as we're done with the core, we're going to build a state house there. Um, yep. I guess we're going to do that. I think overall the plus 15 governing cost is not actually a big deal. Because you get the minus for the whole state. I don't know. Somebody would have to do the math on that. And uh, it ain't going to be me. I'll tell you that. Here we go. Absolutism is right around the corner. As soon as um, global trade spawns, which we're not going to spawn it. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to spawn it. Oh, we're not even close. Look at the English Channel. 108 ducats in it. That's nuts, actually. That is actually insane. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, there we go. We will full state you as well. Or partial state you, and we'll full state it here in a moment. We have our army maintenance. We can turn it all the way off now. And just like that, we're making over 80 ducats a month. Not bad. Economic management, right? How far off are we from number one? Oh, we're not even number two. Ottomans are still just absolutely just pumping out the numbers. That's crazy. That's crazy. So we always say to my dog whenever he gets like real playful, he starts like flinging his toys around. But, oh, he's crazy. He's crazy. Let's uh, keep the one in Dresden here. Oh, I deleted the wrong four. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, let's go with admin mana, please. Now, this province here projects down here and this one here. So, yeah. We don't need this one either, but it does uh, free up a little bit of a weak spot here in, in the state of Saxony, but it's not a big deal. All is well, all is well. Global trade has spawned. We will get it pretty quickly. Is this tech? Yeah, 15%. So in 10 years, absolutism will spawn. We are already well prepared for that. Let's... Uh, Get them up over 50 so we can yoink some crown land. And um, burgers, North Baltic Sea, 65. Dortmund needs converted. Sounds good to me. I can uh, easily convert those guys. To be honest with you, I have a claim on them, so I'm going to take it eventually anyways. So let's see here. Our AE is pretty bad. It's getting pretty, pretty dang bad. All right. So I could... Um, Rather than take the land, I think I will just uh, attack them and uh, force convert them. Is there anybody else who needs force converted in this war? Burgundy is going to be way too big. Let's go back to pacifism. That improved relations is too good to not use. Alrighty then. My subject should be able to handle like 90% of this war. I'm, I'm not actually concerned about it. Oh, they're going to attack me, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Oh, they lost so many men, but we ended up losing the battle because of morale. That's funny. <laughs> I'm not even upset. Let's just get our boy back over there. My ally or my subjects will literally do all the heavy lifting. I'm not worried at it, about it literally at all. So this is Woods. They're dogpiling. This is how you speed five when you just are Prussia. Look at this. Look how many men they're losing. I can afford the losses. It doesn't matter to me. We actually lose nothing in the big scheme of things, which is kind of hilarious. Let's continue to core stuff. The full cores make us make it cost a lot more on develop or on uh, what's it called? That stuff, but it's still fine. Uh, uh, on the brook. Salt gets a bonus, I believe, right? Does it say that? 
No, paper, glass, and gems. That's okay. Either way, no big deal. All right. So we're, we don't really want a whole lot in this war. All I really want to do is force convert anybody I can, which I don't think these guys are too sm small enough. Yeah. Basically, everybody that could be force converted is already force converted. So we'll just force convert um, Dortmund. That's it. That's all I want. We don't need to do a whole lot, right? I'll take the money. It's fine. I don't care. A little bit of disloyal burgers. Oh, no. Anyways. And uh, all is well. Berg. Do you need force converted? Did I misread that? I did. All right, Berg. I am right clicking this province. Thank you. Busted game. I will. Oh, oh, they're occupied in a different war. My bad. I uh, mis misread the name there. All right, cool. So a little bit of rebels. Oh, no, they're sieging down Prague. Oh, no, I'm so scared. I'm literally shaking and crying. Let's keep them with these guys on Prague here. Siege of siege ability is always appreciated. Uh huh. Where is my army? Let's have these guys come down here to Frankfurt. I'm going to keep everybody that's in the war in the war, at least for now. Dang, man. What is this zone of control we're working with? All right. We'll just siege these guys down. I'll take the mana. That's fine. Look at these siege ticks. Those are solid. Lads, if you are enjoying the campaign, make sure, like I said at the beginning, leave a like on the video. Show some support. It really does go a long way to helping other people find the campaign. So, uh, as I said, interest has fallen off quite a bit. It, they generally do as campaigns go on. But if you're still enjoying it and you want to show your support, a like is very much appreciated. If you do want to uh, buy me a coffee, you can check out my Patreon. Link is in the description below. And if you want to join the Discord, the subreddit, or the Twitter for some interesting, fun ways to get involved with the community, you can check that out. Linked in the description below as well. But uh, that's about it for that. We got an Inquisitor, which we do not need because everything is already the true faith. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot of the Hussite Pomeranians, the Prussites. <laughs> and uh, I will catch you guys later.